Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're working on a little cricket timer here. There we go. Still got a couple extra seconds on a Sunday afternoon. This is yesterday's missing upload on Hosea and the Gospel of Luke on what has probably become the most surreal Lent ever experienced. Let's talk about that real quick, this surreal experience we're all going through in our nation, and especially us as Catholics. Probably if all the things we thought would be canceled, we we never thought Mass would be canceled. Yet I, I think um, here's the best way to look at it. We care about our elderly and vulnerable and health-compromised individuals. And we want to avoid, if at all possible, their unnecessary and untimely passing. And in order to try to minimize that as much as possible, some's still going to happen. We have gone to these very unusual uh, methods to try to socially isolate and reduce a contamination of one another until we can at least wrap our heads around this and find ways to alleviate uh, the conditions of it. I, I know some people get it in the past, but we're all worried about the people that get it and don't survive. That is our number one concern. And so it causes this uh, really unusual thing where there's... Uh, I was at Mass yesterday and I was the only one there. And it was the reading for Hosea about God desires mercy and not sacrifice. And then the reading from uh, St. Luke about the uh, tax collector and the Pharisee who go up to pray. And what God is really looking for on our part, first of all, is an awareness of our sin and our sorrow for it. And then, you know, mercy. When we talk about mercy, God desires mercy, not sacrifice. Oftentimes when God refers to mercy, it's not us seeking mercy from Him. He calls us to repentance. But more often in the Old Testament, when God mentions mercy, it's to our fellow neighbors, our fellow men and women. We are to be merciful to them, considerate, kind, forgiving, generous, sacrificial. Those are the things God is really desiring. Because after all, the works of mercy, both corporal, which are in the Gospels, and spiritual, which have been discerned by the church, are taking something we possess and giving it to others and granting them it in its absence. Food, water, shelter, clothing, a comfort. Those are all things we're giving people in a state where they lack that. And the same thing for the spiritual works of mercy. They lack something that is going, that they need in their life that we can afford them from our generosity. Everybody's happy to receive the corporal works of mercy most of, most of us aren't happy to receive the spiritual works of mercy. We prefer people who are giving us the spiritual works of mercy, for the most part, to shut up. But we ought to be receptive, because if they're doing it out of love, they want our good. And we ought to be mindful of that. But, um, you know, the Lord says, the, the Pharisee who brags does not go home justified. And the tax collector who says, have mercy on me, Lord, a sinner goes home justified and we should take uh, take that as uh, a note on how we ought to act before God and then truly be merciful to our neighbors let's take a little look at Hosea here real quick in their affliction they will rise early to me come and let's return to the Lord for he has taken us and he will heal us he will strike and he will cure us he will revive us after two days, and on the third day he will raise us up. We shall live in his sight. We shall know and we shall follow on that we may know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning light, and it will come to us as the early and the later rain to the earth. I don't think this is the translation we use at Mass. Well, anyway, what shall I do to thee, O Ephraim? 
What shall I do to thee, O Judah? Your mercy is as a morning cloud, and as the dew that goeth away in the morning. So, you know, our good works evaporate fast, so be generous uh, to your friends that you're cooped up with. A real test of mercy is everybody you're living with right now. So be merciful and um, expect mercy from God. Be kind, expect kindness from God. Well, that's it for today's extra video. It was a little late getting it. Was it 10 after 5? But better late than never. Hang in there, everybody. Praying for you all. Keep a good sense of humor. And uh, before we know it, this will be over. And we'll be back to life as normal. And I have stories to tell. God bless.